Jessica, Nick. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to show you real quick how to put in a new person, a nurse. Uh, I have a guy's resume teed up. He's a, a software engineer uh, in uh, the healthcare industry. So I'm going to put him in because I need to put him in anyways. Um, so yours, yours will look a little bit different than mine, but at least it'll give you a good uh, example of how to do it. Um, you know, if this person happened to work at somebody that was already in our system, you could just put them in at that company, but it gets a little too cumbersome for most people. So unless they're in the Phoenix area and we have the company in the system, I usually wouldn't. We'll just put them under this company candidates. Uh, the way I got here, would you click on company? Uh, you can either, if it's in your, these are your most recently searched companies, you might not have any there. Just type in CAN under company name, click search. Should be the first one. Click candidates. It'll bring the company candidates down into this detail area. This little add person button is what you want to hit next to add a new person into candidates. Um, the way I do it is I'll go over to the resume, whether it's a Word doc or whatever, and I will highlight all the information that is pertinent. I will go back over here, click this little clipboard button. You can right click and paste all that information in there and click parse. And that should put most of their information in here appropriately. Um, sometimes you need to check it. If we, you know, like right here, software engineer, HL7 certified, that's obviously incorrect um, for address. Um, and I can't remember where this guy is. I think he's in, well, it looks like he's in Pleasanton, California. So I'm going to put nothing for the address. Pleasanton, California. I don't know the zip. <clears throat> we need to have an email address in both the work email and the personal. So if you just have a personal, which is 99% of the time the case, put him in, put that email in both the work email and the personal email. Um, I would imagine that number is his cell phone, uh, but you should know that if you talk to the person. So I'll leave it in cell phone. Um, I know this guy only really wants full time or contract work. Uh, he was referred to me by my resume agent. Uh, you can also search. So click this little button right here. You can find Career Builder so that you can put in where you got them from. Uh, just click the first one. People put in a bunch of different BS ones that shouldn't be in there. Just click this first one, Career Builder, for yours. Um, degree type. Whatever they have, if it's a BSN or an Associates, ASN, just put that in. Uh, certifications, you know, if they have PALS or whatever they have. It's really not that important for a nurse. IT people, it's a little bit more important. Computer skills, this is where you would put any information if they, um, if they you know, work in Cerner, like this guy does, or if they work in Meditech. I mean, if you want to put that information, you can. If not, it's not a big deal. Language skills, if they speak other languages, you can put in what other languages they speak. Um, relocate's a big thing. Like for your guy, it would be a yes. For this guy, it would be a yes. Um, <clears throat> desired salary, you can either put in desired salary as a salary number, or you can put in desired hourly pay rate. Um, however you want to do it. Best time to reach gender, race, contact, and none of that really matters. Desired positions doesn't really matter too much. If you want to put something in there, you can, RN, you know, dash ER maybe. Um, or you can put whatever else you want just by your information. I'm going to put the rest of the stuff I know about the guy in an activity anyways. Uh, so it's not necessarily imp important that you have something in that field. Most importantly, you need to have first and last name. Title is unbelievably key. Uh, usually you will have an address, uh, an email, at least a cell phone, sometimes a home, uh, where you got them from, a degree type, and then what they're looking for money-wise and whether they'll relocate. You know, those are the key fields. This username right here should already pre-populate with your uh, Jessica U, I would imagine. Um, so from here, you click save. That will per put the person in there. You can then go up to this resume here, click on the resume, click on upload new document, and then click select file and go and find wherever you have this person's resume downloaded. 
click open. Uh, it will pull up a little thing saying that it's uploading it. Wait until it says file uploaded successfully, which it will here in a second, right there, uploaded successfully. Then you can click done. Um, from there, you know, usually I'll add some type of an activity like this. This is the little activity, add activity button, the two uh, uh, little clouds. And I'll put in wants work anywhere in US looking for 100K or more. Uh, and then I'll put in that the reason I called him was a resume request. You, you would probably be putting in them in an activity as a C2, which is presenting an opportunity to them. Click save. And now you have a person all in there and you have an activity, which kind of gives an idea of what we we're calling him for and that we have talked to him. Uh, and then right from here, you can click on or hover over his email address, click the button, and you can email him whatever you want. Uh, in your case, for this nurse, uh, I would just send him some information about Sholo, Arizona. Uh, maybe send him a link to Summit Healthcare. Uh, and then you're going to need to link him to the job so that I can keep track of these people. So let's say this was your candidate, Bine Singh. Let's say this was your nurse. Once you're in his name, you right click on this little arrow, drop down arrow over here, link to position. Um, and you can search for all jobs under Company Summit with a status A, which I think is available or active. I can't remember which one. Um, and we can put them like click a click the checkbox here and click link items, and it would link him to that pipeline. Uh, I think this is everything you need. Call me if you have any questions.